All right, so let's look at how to get started with Excel. Uh, the first thing you'll probably notice when you open Excel is you have all these options. Um, really, to get started, just open up a basic Excel workbook. You'll see this giant spreadsheet. It's a, it's a huge grid full of a bunch of lines that don't make a whole lot of sense right off the bat. It's actually very easy. In this grid is just several cells. Each cell has a specific location. That location is defined based on what column it's in and what row it's in. Uh, so for example, the cell I have selected here is in column F and row 10. If I select this cell over here, now we're looking at cell D3. So as you reference cells, you'll always reference first the column and then the row. So D3, E5, it's almost like playing Battleship. What defining the name of any given cell allows you to do is manipulate the information that you can find in those cells. For example, if I put 15 in D5 and 30 in E5, I could write a formula in F5 telling Excel to multiply D5 by whatever it finds in E5. Then, as I have need, I can change whatever I have in either of those cells, and the numbers in F5 will change. So, Excel allows you to do some very basic tasks. It also allows you to get very, very complicated and very involved with your formulas. Now, to get started, we're just going to look at some simple formulas, uh, and I'll show you how they work right now. First, I'm going to be highlighting the area that I'm going to work in. Now, I like to highlight the area with some borders. So I'm going to use the border drop down up here in the top. And I'm just going to click all borders. Makes it very simple, darkens everything up. Now I also don't really like all these extra grids around. Uh, since I'm not going to be using those, I'm going to turn that off so that it makes everything easier for me to see. I'm going to turn that off by clicking on layout at the top. And then unchecking grid lines. And now it's much easier to see what I'm working with. I'm going to go back to home in case I might need that. Alright, so let's make a basic list. We'll give it little headers here. item and cost. This will be our grocery list. So first I need to get some steak. That's going to cost me about 10 bucks. Uh, we'll get some bread. It's going to cost me two dollars. Co Coffee. That I'm going to get about $100 worth of coffee because if I don't, I'm going to die. And then we'll get some milk. We'll get $4 worth of milk. Now, I'll put a little spot down here for total. And this is where we get to start our first formula. So, anytime you want Excel to know that you're going to be using a formula, first start by putting equals. This tells Excel to ignore the information in the cell content as content itself, it needs to do something with what it finds there. Now, we need to enter the name of the formula. If you don't know the name of the formula, Excel has this FX button up here. Uh, you can click it and you can search for every formula that Excel has. You can look at a description of how it works, all sorts of things. It's very, very helpful. Um, but right now we're just using a basic sum function. So we're going to type in sum and then and open parentheses. Anytime you use a formula, after you write the name of the formula, open the parentheses. This tells Excel the information inside the parentheses is what you need to perform the operation on. Now we can either click on each individual cell that we want to add, and Excel will do the math for us. Or in that same formula, we could simply we could simply type D4 through D7 and close the parentheses. It'll do the same thing. Again, any, another way we can do it is to click and drag through all of them and close the parentheses. Any of those three ways, Excel will figure it out for you. Now you'll notice that we didn't use any dollar signs or decimal points or anything like that. And man, we really kind of wanted to use those. We really wanted to use those because you know, this is having to do with money. That's not a big deal. We don't have to go through and change everything now. We can just highlight all of the cells we want to change. Now, then up here in the top, we'll change the number from general to currency. And everything changes nicely. Uh, we can also use these buttons to reduce the amount of zeros or add the amount of zeros. And it makes it nice for us. Now, after you've done this, if you need to change information in 
your list, let's say you need $20 worth of stake, Excel will automatically calculate the change for you. So this is a very basic beginning step to getting into Excel. Uh, there's a lot, lot more behind this. Uh, we'll have some more videos coming pretty soon. But if you've got any questions, go ahead and leave us a comment and we'll get back to you.